Left turn signal. Okay, do that again, flip them off and back on. There we go. All right, Jeremy, hit the uh, floodlights there, the, the front LED light. Oh, wow, those are nice and bright. All right, turn those off. Okay, back on. All right, those are the LED lights that are on the rear view mirrors. We're impressed at how wide the light is thrown by these lights. I really can't overemphasize how impressed we are with these side mirrors that come with this kit. They feel high quality. We love the adjustment that they have in them, as well as the turn signal lights and the LED lights that are built in. They're just a great product. Today we are installing a Rough Country side mirror and blinker kit on our new 2023 Polaris Razor XP1000. Okay, we've got it sorted out. Of course, this is the horn. All of this goes to is gonna to go to the rear of the machine. This is what they call the main board. And then this wiring is for the side mirrors. Now we just need to get it all installed. Luckily, there are instructions that we can follow. Because we are going to be installing a rough country half windshield on the Razor, we realized we're gonna to have to mount the side mirror arms up above that windshield. For the side arm to mount onto the cage, they provide these rubber pieces. The smaller piece goes in, goes behind the outside part of the bracket, and the bigger piece goes on the inside of the bracket. You can see down in there, we've already put those rubber pieces in and those are what grip to the roll cage. In order to install this kit, we removed the hood, the dash cover that goes across here, the cubby that goes there, the cover that goes down there and also the engine cover in the bed. We chose to hook up the power wires for the kit right here. We removed this part that came with the kit and put on smaller loops that would go over these posts. This is where we chose to mount the horn on this factory bolt there. And then as you can see, we've got things zip tied up. We came through the firewall right here on our razor, we chose to install the main board right there on top of the glove box. We used two screws and we also used adhesive tape. It was very easy to pop out these pieces and install the switches where we wanted them. And this is where we chose to put the horn. And here behind, you can see how it's all hooked up. With this panel removed, it was easy to run the wires for the rear view mirrors and turn signals. These are the two wires that run back to the rear turn signals. We came through this same location in the firewall, then went down and through the tunnel under the floor of the machine using a fish tape from the rear. We were able to work with the fish tape and the wires from this location, and that was helpful. On the driver's side, we routed the wire right up along this frame rail, behind it the best we could, and then came down and we put a hole in the plastic right there for the turn signal. On the passenger side, you can see where we came out of the tunnel there. We zip tied it here, came up that frame rail, right across there and down. Same thing, mounted it in this location. Afterward, we took our time and we went around and zip tied everything up neatly so that nothing's gonna be shaking around and rattling. We've got everything zip tied and secured in a location where it will be held still while the machine is in action. We're very happy with the way the wiring turned out and the way that the Rough Country kit is set up. It was intuitive and really quite easy to install. It does take some time, but it wasn't difficult. 
And there's a certain degree of creativity that you're able to use as you install this kit that makes it fun because you can do it the way you want to. We've noticed that these switches light up in the dark when you use them. Jeremy, use a few of them real quick, let's see. So there you can see the turn signal switch. Oh, and there's the emergency flashers. This bit came in handy when installing these rear turn indicators, as well as when installing the button for the horn right there. Drill bits, tape, dikes, pliers, screwdrivers. These are those pieces that we use to uh, replace the factory loops here to attach the power wires on the firewall. But here's a little glimpse at uh, some of the tools that we use to install the Rough Country Street Legal Kit. A package of zip ties definitely comes in handy when securing all of the wires. We would not have been able to successfully run the wires for the rear turn indicators under the tunnel here that goes under the machine without this fish tape that we were able to use from the rear of the machine here and fish through that tunnel and then pull the wires back through. We are very impressed with this turn signal kit from Rough Country, particularly the added value of the mirrors, the side mirrors that are included in this kit with those LED lights that are built into them. It just seems to be a very good, complete overall kit. Here in Arizona, one piece that is required is a light to illuminate the license plate. That is one piece that is not included in this kit, uh, but could be added in easily.